Hi my dear students, welcome back to my channel. Hope everyone are fine. So in today's class, I am going to discuss about the animal glands and the hormones secreted by those glands. See, if we look at our NCERT textbook and the diagrams which is given under the animal hormones, specifically about male and female, we could easily identify many glands. But for not every gland, the explanation is given in the textbook. But with respect to examination point of view, it is very important to understand the hormones and functions performed by each gland that are specified in those pictures. So without delaying much, let me start explaining about each and every gland and their function. Children, you must know before explaining about these glands, let's once summarize what is gland and what are the what is the meaning of hormones. See, I also told about this in my previous videos and if you are not at watch the videos of the lesson control and coordination which I have posted for the previous sessions, the link of those videos are given in the description box below. Kindly watch. Right. So when I talk about gland, see gland is nothing but it is an organ. What is gland? Gland is an organ. So what do gland do? Gland basically secrete hormones. So again a new word. Then what is mean by hormones? Hormones are nothing but the chemical substances or we can also say chemical messengers. We can either describe it, you know, uh, both the ways. Either it is a chemical substance or a chemical messenger. Okay, so I think you got what is the meaning of gland. It is an organ which releases hormones. So then what is hormone? Hormone is nothing but it is a chemical substance secreted or released by whom? The gland only. Right. And I also explained about endocrine gland and exocrine gland in my previous videos. You can check the explanation of those. So as I'm starting with this, so let us now summarize which are the different glands present in our uh, textbook. First it is hypothalamus gland followed by pituitary gland, pineal gland, thyroid gland, parathyroid gland, pancreas, adrenal, testis and ovaries. So these many glands are there. Let me explain about each of this in detail. So when I start explaining you about the hypothalamus. See we are all familiar with this word called hypothalamus. It is one of the division that is present in the forebrain. Correct. That means this hypothalamus is having connection with nervous system. Why? Because when I say brain, the whole brain is made up of neurons. That means nerves. Correct. So hypothalamus it is like a bridge between this nervous system. It is a bridge between nervous system and also an endocrine system. We can say bridge or connection. Okay, it has a connection between both nervous system as well as endocrine system. The first point to note. Okay, see whatever the points I say, please note down as a running notes. It will help you for examination point of view to revise easily. Okay, right. So hypothalamus acts in a, uh, two ways. That means it has, it has two functions. See, under uh, you know, nervous system as a hypothalamus, you know, hypothalamus helps in regulating body temperature. It controls hunger. It controls thirst. All these functions will be performed by hypothalamus. Whenever I talk about uh, you know, hypothalamus under nervous system as a brain, okay, as a part of brain. But whenever I talk about hypothalamus as an endocrine system or as a gland, this hypothalamus has the ability to control the pituitary gland. Pituitary gland. So pituitary gland we will talk little later. So as I am talking about hypothalamus, it has connection with pituitary gland. See basically this pituitary gland also releases a hormone. What kind of hormone is released if you ask me? It releases growth hormone. Pituitary gland releases growth hormone. Okay. The growth hormone released by pituitary gland is controlled by hypothalamus. Got it? Hypothalamus controls pituitary gland to release growth hormone. Note this point. Okay. How much amount of growth hormone should be released by pituitary gland? It has to be released less or it has to be released more. All these things will be controlled by hypothalamus only. So basically hypothalamus controls pituitary gland to release growth hormone. 
I hope I'm clear with this. But by releasing what this hypothalamus is controlling pituitary gland also matters a lot. So we must talk about hormone. See basically this hypothalamus releases, it releases, let me just write here, it releases a hormone, it releases a hormone called gonadotrophin. Gonadotrophin is the hormone released or secreted by the hypothalamus. And this gonadotrophin is controlling the pituitary gland. I told you, hypothalamus controls pituitary gland. But in, in what way is it going to control? It is controlling by releasing this hormone. This hormone is going to control the pituitary gland. Okay? In, in what way it is controlling? How much amount of growth hormone should be secreted? See, the amount of growth hormone secreted by pituitary gland will be controlled by gonadotrophin. And this gonadotrophin is released by hypothalamus. Clear, right? So this is all about the gland called hypothalamus. Now let us talk about the next, I think you all have mentioned and written uh, all these points in your book. Let me go for next now. So as I have completed about hypothalamus, let us now talk about a most important gland that is pituitary gland. P-I-T-U-I-T-A-R-Y. Pituitary gland. See so this pituitary gland is also present in the brain. So I forgot to tell about the location about hypothalamus. Remember three things that we are going to learn under each case. One is the location. Second one is the hormone secreted by each of the gland. And third one is its function. So hypothalamus, where is it? It is present in the brain location. Hormone, gonadotrophin, function, controls pituitary gland to release growth hormone. In the same way, when I talk about pituitary gland, the location of pituitary gland, where is it located? Location is again brain. Pituitary gland is located in the brain only. Which is a hormone secreted by the pituitary gland. The hormone secreted by the pituitary gland is Growth hormone, very important. Growth hormone is released by the pituitary gland. See, some people are very tall, some people are very short. It is all because of what? It is because of the amount of growth hormone that is released in their body. Then who releases that growth hormone? Growth hormone is released by the pituitary gland. Make sure it's very important. And the con there, is, uh, there is a certain conditions where we will call to few people based on you know, based or depending upon the amount of growth hormone released in their body. Suppose if the pituitary gland releases excess of growth hormone, then what happens? See, I just write excess, excess of GH, excess of growth hormone, okay, makes the person very tall, very important, okay. If there is more growth hormone is released by the pituitary gland in the person's body, then the person will be extremely tall. Extremely tall. And this condition is called as gigantism. It is called as gigantism. Very important. Similarly, the same growth hormone, if it is secreted in the less amount, so less amount of growth hormone, Less amount of growth hormone in a person's body make that person extremely short. Okay. The person will be short. And if the persons are extremely short and the condition we will call it as dwarfism. What we call it as dwarfism. Very important. Okay. So remember pituitary gland is present in the brain and this releases growth hormone. And if the growth hormone is released in excess, the person will be very tall and the condition is called gigantism. If the same pituitary gland releases less amount of growth hormone, the person will be short and the condition is called dwarfism. Very importantly, you must know. And sometimes in the give reason question, they will ask. Pituitary gland is also called as master gland. It is also called as master gland give reason. Why the pituitary gland is called as master gland? It is because, see I just write master gland. Pituitary gland is also called as master gland. Why? It is because this pituitary gland controls all the other glands present in our body. 
I spoke about you know uh, thyroid gland, pancreas, adrenal, all those glands. I specified on the board, right? All those glands releases one or the other type of hormone, and all those hormones released by those glands, it is controlled by pituitary gland. Is that clear? It is like a master. Pituitary gland is controlling all the other glands. Hence, it is called as master gland. You can note down why is it called as master gland because it controls all the other glands present in the body. I hope you are clear with this. Every point related to pituitary gland I have explained. Apart from this, I would also add these points. Pituitary gland not only releases the growth hormone, it is also responsible to release. I just mentioned some extra point. It also releases TSH and FSH. What do you mean by TSH? TSH is nothing but thyroid stimulating hormone. The thyroid gland will raise some hormone. So that hormone is stimulated by this gland. So thyroid stimulating hormone is secreted by the pituitary gland. Follicle, FSH, follicles are nothing but the ovas which are present in the ovary. And those follicle stimulating hormone, the follicle to stimulate, to release, there should be one hormone who is responsible and that is, you know, pituitary gland. So follicle stimulating hormone is also secreted or released by pituitary gland. I hope you are clear with this, hypothalamus and pituitary gland. Yes. So I hope you all have noted this. Let's go for the next. So the next one is the pineal gland. The next one is the pineal gland. See, pineal gland location, as I told you, firstly, we let us know about the location. This pineal gland is also located in the brain itself. It is present in the brain itself, which is the hormone released by the pineal gland. The hormone that is released by pineal gland is melatonin. Melatonin is the hormone that is released by pineal gland. So what is the importance or the responsibility of this melatonin hormone? Melatonin hormone actually controls the sleep and wake up cycle. Like see, uh, we, have, we all have a particular pattern for sleeping. Some of the people may sleep around by 10 p.m. and get up by 5 a.m. Some may sleep by around by 11 p.m. and get up by 4 a.m. Everyone have their own sleeping pattern. And that sleeping pattern in our body is controlled by this melatonin which is released by pineal gland. I hope you are clear, right? Melatonin hormone. So melatonin, what is this you, uh, function? The function is, function is, regulates, it regulates, it regulates sleep wake up cycle, sleep wake up cycle. This is released, sorry, controlled by the pineal gland. So check out my next video for other glands and the hormones secreted by those glands and functions.